real quick, the lock for this game is the over. And if you want to know more, then stay tuned. Getting into the stats for this game, we've got the Eagles offensively are scoring 28 points per game, 260.3 passing yards per game, and just under 150 rushing yards per game, while they're giving up just under 17 points per game, just under 207 passing yards per game, and just under 115 rushing yards per game. Texans offensively are scoring about 16.5 points per game. They're throwing the ball for about 215 passing yards per game, and they're running for about 92 rushing yards per game. Defensively, they are giving up 22 points per game. They're giving up about just under 230 passing yards per game. But here's the big stat. They're giving up 186 rushing yards per game. I think that's dead last in the NFL and is one of the big reasons why I think the Eagles are going to have success tonight. If the Texans can't stop the run, then they're not going to be able to stop the Eagles at all, and they're not going to really stop any offense at all. I mean, just look at what Derrick Henry did to him last week. Over 200 rushing yards on 32 attempts. I would expect for the Eagles to have a big day on offense as well as Miles Sanders having a big day on the ground. Looking at the against the spread stats, the Eagles are 5-2 and two overall this year and they're 1-2 and two as the away team and as an away favorite. The Texans against the spread are 3-3-1 three, three and one overall this year and they're 1-2 and two as a home team and home underdog. Looking at the over-under, the Eagles are 4-3 and three in overs this season, but they're 1-2 and two as an away team. The Texans are 3-4 and four in overs this season, and they're also 1-2 and two as the home team. So this over-under line, I mean, nothing really stands out. The away and home records would point a little towards the under, but that's why this line, this total is so low already. And I personally really like the over here, like I said, to start the video. Line movement-wise. The spread opened up at Eagles minus 5.5, and, and it's moved to Eagles minus 14. Uh, personally, I'm not going to touch the spread in this game just because I think 14 is a lot of points. I get the Eagles are significantly better than the Texans, but they're on the road, and you never know what can happen in garbage time. You know, 13-point win, 12-point win, they still win pretty handedly, but they don't cover if that's the case. The total, on the other hand, opened at 43.5, and, and it's moved slightly upwards towards 55 and a half, or towards 45 and a half, but it's still quite low for a total. Um, I like the over, so I, I mean, you kind of see the offensive stats for each team and defensive stats. Um, the Eagles should have a lot of success. I would expect the Eagles to have four or five touchdowns themselves. I could very easily see this game being a 35-14 game, 35-17 game, something along those lines which is why I like the over. And 82% of the public is on Philly to cover. That's also part of the reason why I'm not touching the spread. Typically, when the public's, a large amount of the public is on one side to cover, it normally doesn't end up happening. And that's just why the lines got boosted up so much all the way to 14 points because they're trying to influence people to bet on the Texans. Um, but I'm just not going to touch it because I just don't feel as confident with the spread. So as I mentioned, the pick for this game is going to be over 45 and a half points. Uh, I just like the game script for this. I think the Eagles should have success running the ball, which should allow Jalen Hurts to throw the ball when need be and stuff to be wide open in their RPO game. And I do like the Texans to score, uh, you know, 10 to 14 points here being at home. I think they're able to get a, a touchdown or two, but uh, I, th I think 45 and a half is a pretty low total. So that's why I'm taking the over there. And then a parlay for this game, a same game parlay. I would take the over, as I already stated, but I teased it down to 37.5 total points just to uh, make it a little easier for that leg of the parlay to hit. And then I'd definitely take the Miles Sanders over 79.5 rushing yards. As you kind of saw, the Texans are averaging almost 200 rushing yards given up per game this year. So if Miles Sanders doesn't hit 79.5, then the Eagles are struggling to run the ball, which would surprise me greatly since they've had a lot of success on the ground this year. And then just a little third leg to add on i'd take the eagles money line i don't think there's any way the eagles lose here i mean they're undefeated right now they're playing a bad texans team they're on the road but they should not lose this game they have uh all the ability to win this game and if they lose this game i'd be shocked now with that being said that's all i have on this game uh if you liked the video i'd appreciate it if you left a like and if you have different thoughts on this game or have other insight that you'd like to give Definitely feel free to leave it in the comment section. But other than that, if you're looking for more game breakdown videos similar to this one in the future, then definitely hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos to come.